My teacher has just given me the assignment to create an image that reflects the water cycle and to do it in Kami. So I'm going to go over here and tap on the K, which is in my Chrome extensions, and it's going to open up for me some selections. I'm going to choose new blank page, and I'm going to add a blank page here. And because I want that page to be horizontal, that's going to make it a little easier for me. I'm going to actually rotate it, and I think I can do that rotate clockwise. There we go. <clears throat> now I'm going to need uh, see some rain clouds. So I'm going to go into Add Media and Google Image Search and type in rain cloud. And with that, I found this image I like very much. I'm going to select that and tap right here. I'm going to resize it so it doesn't take up the entire page. And now I've got rain clouds. I'm going to ignore this for right now because I'm not done and I don't want to get distracted. I've actually got the rain coming down, which is great. So I want it to come down on, I don't know, some sort of plants or trees. So let's go in and add some more media right here. I'm just going to look for a tree. That seems easy enough. And here's one. Select that. Click to drop it. Resize it should I need to. Yep, that's great. Now, some of my water is going to come here. It's going to water the tree, but it's also going to um, end up in some sort of a, a groundwater or a river or creek. So to indicate that, I'm going to go back to Google Image Search and find a river. It seems like something easy to find. Or let's see, I want it to be colorful and pretty and kind of fit with the rest of my drawing. So maybe I need to look for a creek. Okay, I typed in river clip art and I got this one, which I like. So I'm gonna put that in there and click to drop. I'm gonna make this one actually a little bit larger and move it like this. And now I need to indicate that there's gonna be evaporation. And so I'm going to find a sun. That should be super duper easy to find. Back to the image search, sun. And that one works for me. And plop that right here. And um, I don't know, maybe some clouds to indicate condensation. Just some regular clouds, not the, not the uh, rain clouds. So regular clouds. And I'm going to be done, except I better label it. Uh, let's see, that's a good one. I dropped it and woo, grab the corner. All right, so now all I need to do is maybe make a text box and I'm gonna use red and I'm gonna make sure my font size is big enough to be seen. So right here I have precipitation, right? So, precipitation. Okay, I just finished making all my, my labels about what's going on, but I think I need to maybe make sure, I'm gonna use the drawing tool and let's find red again and make it thick enough that somebody will be able to see it. And I'm just gonna make sure that we all understand the direction things are headed. So right here, and then we go, um, transpiration is gonna go up and percolation is gonna go this way. And then evaporation is gonna go this way and condensation is going to go. Oops, sorry. Where's my eraser? Uh oh. I have a undo button up here at the top. There we go. And one more time, I'm going to try that. There we go. And then, oh, Kim, we'll just go like this. Find my drawing tool and go like this. All right, pretty cool, all done. Created this from scratch, just using the clip art down here under Add Media, Google Image Search. You know what, I was done, but there is one other thing you could do. Instead of just having a student turn this in, um, the teacher might ask for the student to go to comment, and then voice comment, and describe what is here. So again, I'm gonna tap on that, and this little yellow dot right here, Hi, my name is Kim and this is my assignment. I have drawn the water cycle and I want to explain to you how the water cycle works. You can see these arrows all point and everything just sort of goes in a circle. That's why it's called a cycle. And 
I think I'm going to stop there. You guys don't need to hear me describe this, but I did want to make sure that you know that there are a million tools in here and this is a great assignment sample. I'm sure there are inspirations all over the place. I hope you use Cami all the time.